What's up all you askew people out there, welcome back to another video. And I want to kick off this spooky season by talking about one of the scariest prank shows to ever exist, Scare Tactics. So this show is like the scary version of punk Someone sets up their friend or family member to get pranked, but instead it's a really scary prank. Let's go ahead and check the first one out. It's time for another high octane episode of Scare Tactics. I might have forgotten to mention that this show is hosted by Tracy Morgan, which makes zero sense at all. So this first prank is a classic, this guy thinks he's babysitting this girl and it's going to turn into something very paranormal. Hi. So much for coming through. I don't know if he's told you what recently what's happened with our family. Um, no. My daughter Gretchen passed away because she was electrocuted and it was awful. This is Alyssa. We'll be babysitting. She's eight and that was Gretchen at 12. If I ever showed up to a place to babysit and the very first thing that the mom told me was that the little girl I'm babysitting sister got electrocuted to death, that's already a bit of a red flag. Why did you bring that up so quickly? Gary, this is Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. I'm gonna just go out for dinner with daddy, okay? There's food in the fridge if you need anything. Did my mom tell you about Gretchen? In my opinion, there's a few too many lamps in this house. There's a lamp right here. There's a lamp right over here. We're gonna need to get to the bottom of this lamp mystery. Did my mom tell you about Gretchen? Just that she passed away and she's in heaven now. Do you think you can talk to people when they're in heaven? Of course you can. When I, just... I talk to Gretchen, my mom says that I don't talk to her. I'm sure they're all around you all the time. That's Gretchen. That's Gretchen? Alyssa, I want you to play with me. No, Gretchen, I don't want to go play. Oh my gosh. Who are you? I'm Gary. What are you doing with my sister? We're just playing. Why wouldn't Alyssa play with me? Oh my gosh, I'm calling your mom. Okay, so he's clearly freaked out immediately. And the funny thing about this guy is he buys this immediately. He's like, okay, Gretchen's in the TV and she's talking to me right now. Also, I'm super sorry if your name is Gretchen out there. Nobody deserves to be named Gretchen. Hello? I'm scared. Alyssa's mom. How do you call someone to tell them that something like this just happened? I'm freaked out right now. What's going on? Um, the TV turned on and there was like somebody talking through the speakers. Well, maybe you have it set on the DVD if you're watching it. No, no, scared, no, no, no. For all of you watching who don't know what this show is, this show is pretty much on in the 2000s, so DVD players were very much still a thing. I had a conversation. With who? With the television. Oh my god! Oh what? my god! Please come home. What happened? Please come home. Please, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm turning around right now. Ah! I think we should go outside. No. I want to stay here. I'm scared. Ah! No! Alyssa, I want you to play with me. And then they have a girl with this crazy lighting on her come around the corner to look like she's dead and she's a ghost. You couldn't have paid me enough to stay in this house. I would have already been way out the door. Come on, Alyssa, we're getting the freak out. <laughs> Scare tactics will also put people into situations that are a little bit more believable sometimes, but could be considered just really scary situations. There's nothing paranormal about this next scene, but this kid has taken a job at a psych ward and his job is basically just to watch the most dangerous inmate. We're a private company contractor to the state. We temporarily hold dangerous psychiatric patients here. So you guys are going to keep an eye on a detainee I have here while I'm outside taking care of a security issue. Any questions? Problems? Um, fecal throwing of any kind. <laughs> I like how this kid doesn't really have any questions about the job itself other than fecal throwing of any kind. As long as you're not throwing poop at me, I'm good. You can make me do anything, but if there's poop flying in the air, I'm out. Uh, Alex, have a seat over there in front of the monitor. Ryan, have a seat there. Your job tonight is to keep an eye on this individual right here. He's gonna try and get inside your head and mess with your mind. It may look like a small child to you. He's a dangerous criminal. He is not what he appears to be. Look, I understand that this kid is just a 10 year old kid and he's trapped behind this glass and he's strapped down to this chair, but do not let this kid dive through the window and try to kill you, okay? Behind that 10 year old exterior, there's a villain in there. What do you think he's like though? He's 
first said that it would be a security issue, which means she probably did something bad. Like stealing all the Capri Sun out of his mom's fridge. And apparently said he was gonna try to mess with us, which means she might be intelligent. Right. This will be fun. I'm not as concerned for the victim in this scenario as I am for the actors who are playing around him. This kid looks like a super villain. He's waited his whole life for this moment from the looks of it. Can you guys let me out? Okay, I'll let you out if I can have your hands and feet. Imagine you're the child actor who's been hired for this role. You're a crazy kid. You're supposed to scare the crap out of this guy here. And the first thing that the victim says to this crazy psych ward patient is, how about this? I'll make a deal with you. You can leave if I can have your hands and feet. No takes these vaxies. I mean, just look at this kid's face right here. He's already like, what? What the heck? Why would you want my hands and feet? If I can have your hands and feet. What? The kid didn't even know what to say. He's just like, what? I just Those are my conditions. Out. You can take them or leave them. It's okay. So you guys aren't gonna let me out? No. I'll get out by myself. And when I do, I'll be coming for you. I don't like this kid. This kid, this is this is not, this is not cool. Uh, hey Jim, I really don't feel comfortable doing this. Uh, all right, tell me what's going on. I, I just don't like what he's saying. Oh, it is. It's really creepy. He can't get out of that chair though, can he? No, he can't get out. Didn't think Why don't so. you go ahead? There's a door right next to the room where he's in. Okay. Uh, right behind that, there's a storage okay. locker. Start organizing that for me. They've done the old switcheroo. We're gonna see how tough this kid is now. Jump on back in there. <laughs> What the hell dude, did you dude, do? Help me. Can you can you can you help me out here and get he the let, door? He let, he let the kid out. Whatever you do, do not let him out of that cell. What's going on? What the hell did you do? I don't know where the kid is right now. Where did he go? What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's, where's, the, the, where's, hell? where's the kid? He ran out that way. I just want to check out him. I want what the hell just I happened? Wait, wait. wait. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. Hey everyone, Ryan here. It seems while editing this video, I found that I might have missed the complete point of this prank. I had no idea that the prank was basically that the kid turned into the other guy. I didn't see that there were twins there. So instead of realizing the real prank of the victim being really traumatized here because he sees two people who look the same and he's wondering what the heck's going on, or that he thinks the kid's like a shapeshifter or something, instead I thought this guy was freaked out that the kid escaped and then was like afraid of a 10 year old boy. Sometimes I'm not the most detail oriented guy out there. Now that you know the context, take everything I say here with a little bit of a grain of salt because I had no clue what I was talking about. And I was expecting a little bit more to happen here, but it looks like this guy's just running away because the kid escaped. Even if the kid is crazy, it's still a kid. I'm scared You're tactics. Scared tactics, dude. Oh my, that is awesome. I hate you people. Go die. This next one is really crazy. Brittany thinks her mom got a job answering phones. Sounds easy. You answer phones. If someone comes in, just have them sign in and sit down. I'll be right with them. You know, I need a doctor or a nurse. My wife is uh, in labor. Easy. Okay. Does he know? Not yet. Call him. It's time. Yes, sir. No, it's time. Price him. I, I, I would hate to do this to you, but just, just for some help. It's okay. Can I squeeze your hand? Yeah, you can squeeze it. Doctor. I'm only five months. This is where this one gets really twisted. I'm only five months. One of the best things about this prank is the woman's facial expressions as she's getting pranked. Because what she's feeling is what literally everyone would be feeling in this situation. Part of the plan. Okay. Oh my god. Who is that? Is he a priest? He's a priest. This ominous figure who's incredibly tall walks up in the glass and is just standing there. And obviously they're trying to make this guy look like the devil. Where are they going? They're right outside. They're talking to the priest. <laughs> this is the weirdest looking priest I've ever seen. Uh, they're right outside. They're talking to the priest who's definitely not going to sacrifice you. Priest? I don't understand. You're not a priest? <laughs> That's not your priest? That's not your priest? That's not my priest? No, that's not my priest. Then whose priest is it? Oh, this ain't good. And then just to make her feel even better, they all just creepily stare at her. I don't know how the actors keep a straight face. I get that they're actors. I know that's kind of the point. I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. If I was one of the actors, this is how it would go. You just need the baby. She doesn't matter. Oh my god. Sir? Oh my god. Sir? I don't think I can do this. I don't think any of us can do this. Alright, so the lady who's pregnant dies, and then this demon baby jumps out. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Tactics. 
I'm gonna be sleeping in her bed the whole, whole week. No, but that one was pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is our victim, Seth, right here. He's raring and ready to go. The guy who set him up is his friend, and he told him that he's just gonna go pick up some tickets to this sold out show, and he has to go to this warehouse. First of all, why, Seth? Why are you going to a random warehouse to pick up tickets that your friend told you was there? And why did your friend not come? You have a little bit too much trust in your friend, Seth. But when Seth goes in here, he's gonna find out that there's hazardous materials all over this warehouse, and things are gonna get a little bit scary. Hello. Hey. Can I help you? I'm sorry. Uh, I was here to talk to Frank about something. Um, I take you to Frank. He's in the back, okay? He's back here, so just go in, okay? So this poor victim, Seth, goes to the front desk. He sees this really nice lady. She says, go back here in the back and your tickets will be back there. And now he enters this room. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? This room is contaminated. Did you touch anything? Did you no, touch I haven't touched anything. Okay, all right. So uh, what are you just doing in the room? That, it's okay, okay, this room uh, has been contaminated with the biohazardous material. This guy's freaking terrified. Why did you come in here? I didn't know. Somebody threw me in the room. All right, here, give, me, give, me, give me your shirt. Give me your shirt. I'm very sorry. There's no way you guys can get out. You have to stay in here. We must decontaminate. Take your pants off. You can see your boxes. Take your pants off and getting your shoes off and your socks off. While you're at it, take your pants off. Take your pants off. Yeah, you have to take your pants off for this situation. Turn around, turn around. You're sure you didn't touch anything? I did not touch a single thing. We need to take a reading. Take the reading. All right. Now they're gonna give him a reading to see if he's radioactive. Alright, Jinx, you're blowing 400 rats. We gotta get him in the shower. Uh, like, that's gonna work at this point? Alright, uh, alright, all right, step forward, step forward, step forward. Here. If we see orange, we know we're in trouble. If we see orange. If we see orange, we know we're in trouble, and then you know automatically they're gonna see orange. This is decontamination foam. Oh my god! This might be my favorite scare tactics prank of all time. I don't do well with pranks. I don't want to prank other people. The world's already stressful and scary enough as it is. This poor guy thinks he's going to die because his skin is turning orange. I'm getting Get the, the supervisor. supervisor. I don't know. Get me out of here, please. Oh, yeah, you got a problem. You're scared? You're number five. I'm very, a little scared, yeah. You ought to be scared. Don't yeah. me, Bring in his friend walks in to let him know that he's on scare tactics, but he's so scared he can't even open his eyes right now. Hey, are you scared right now? Yes, I'm super scared. Stop this, please. Well, you should be scared. Cause you're on. Stop this, please, right now. Please help me stop. No, no, no. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you you're on. Please just get me out of here right now. I'm really scared. If you'd let me talk for a second, I could just get this out. Get the foam off me. I'm gonna die. I'm level 11. Oh my gosh, I love my family. I'm so scared. Dude, you're on scare tactics. Come on. Wait, what? Excuse me, man. You're on scare tactics, brother. Take a look at me. Oh my you gonna cry, bro. That scary girl at the beginning was really scary, but I think that honestly, this is the scariest one to me. Usually in situations where there is like a biohazard and like radioactive material, you wouldn't just be able to walk through a door and be in the room. Nonetheless, that was an awesome prank though. The last prank we're gonna watch today is disgusting. This man thinks he's going to be helping evict squatters from houses, and in actuality, there are cannibals inside. The abandoned house. This is our point of interest to start off. I had a girl I thought was reliable. Came out here to hand out the eviction notices. Yeah. I haven't heard from her since. This guy literally just walks in the door and the person that he's working with goes, Hey, by the way, the person that you're replacing, we haven't seen her ever since she first came here. So I'm sure everything's fine. Why are you, why are you in my room? Well, this actually isn't your room, sir. He's not going to be happy. Who? To superior. You smell good. Hey, by the way, uh, you smell good. What kind of cologne are you using? Get your stuff and go, sir. Please. I'm so sorry, please. You know where the door is. So they go upstairs and that's when things are gonna get a little bit spooky. Uh. This is that girl I was talking about, Lauren. We gotta get her up. Come on, Steven, help me out. I am so stressed. Honestly, it's a pretty wholesome response given the fact that he has just seen what he has seen. Looks like a woman's tied up in the bed here. There's some weird markings on the wall. And all he has to say is, I am so stressed. What is this? What is this? Calm down. Because if you don't come, we're not gonna keep calm. Pretty creepy stuff. It looks like there's some sort of weird cult holding her hostage. I'm feeling pretty spooked. My spook meter's at a solid six out of 10 right now. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Crush me. Oh my Stay back. It's been I'm so back. long since I feasted. I'm, I'm so I'm hungry. I'm so the head cannibal, the superior as they've been calling him in this scene, walks in and just starts talking about how tasty this guy looks. Man, he looks so tasty. Supple. What? Wait, 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 listen. Why are you doing this? Ah! Why are you running? Why are you running? I'll show you why. Pull back the blanket. Pull back the blanket. Oh my. They ate my legs. There's something about the way she said they ate my legs that is so funny to me. <laughs> They ate my legs! They dipped them in barbecue sauce! Kelly, Kelly. This is terrifying. Now his partner passes out and this guy's trapped with this crazy superior guy here. Kelly, we ate her legs! Bye. And we're gonna eat your legs too! We're gonna eat you! No, 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 wait, 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 wait! 
You're on scare tactics. This guy was about to jump straight out the window to escape here. He was not playing any games. The actor who's playing the cannibal couldn't finish his shtick because the guy's about to jump out the window. I'm gonna eat you. And it's gonna be so, wait, 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 wait. It's just a prank. You're on scare tactics because the guy was about to yeet himself out the window. You're on scare tactics, the TV show. Your friend Bianca set you up. Okay, it's all fake. I was this close to jumping out the <laughs> Some of these pranks are so stressful, I'm surprised that people haven't had heart attacks before. Like, I could see really bad things happening, like actors getting attacked, but this show really is the best at scary pranks. My advice for all of you today is to not get eaten. I hope you enjoyed watching this scare tactics video with me today, and as you go throughout your October, remember to stay slightly askew because being normal is weird and being weird is pretty cool. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy the video here at the bottom of your screen as well. Subscribe to join my growing askew community. Other than that, all I have to say is, bye bye